everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, <laughs> this is a scary one. We got a random. I'm not supposed to be recording more Isaac today. Frame rate seems bad. There we go, it's better now. Not supposed to be recording more Isaac today. Should be recording some other stuff, but I can't leave it on a pivotal random. Could go around far enough to get a Zazel. Lazarus. Okay, so, I mean, Lazarus is one away from the Lost, which is scary, but we made it work Curse of the Unknown. The PDH P7V dub. So now we have, uh, I mean, I don't want to say no excuse yet, because a lot of the game's based on RNG. But we have no innate excuse for a loss. And that excites me a great deal. Because we're not one win away from 49 in my mind. Which is, a, this is a dangerous way to look at it. Instead, we're two wins away from 50. And a 50 streak is, uh, legitimizing. Is the way I would describe it. Describe it. Oh, this is pretty nice. I describe it as legitimizing because when pe when I said that I like a, a 100 streak was my goal, people were like, "What in the fuck are you talking about? You think you're gonna get a 100 streak? Yo, you got 25. That is not even close to 100. You got a long way to. You got to quadruple that. If we got to 50, even if we never get to 100 on this streak or any streak in the future, I think people will at least you know stand up and be like, you know what? I still might not think it's likely, but 100 is certainly within the realm of possibility now. I think so, at least. I mean, there's not a huge difference between 49 and 50, or 48 and 49 and 50, but um, there, there's some symbolic differences for me, and I would really like to be able to at least hit it at that nice round number and, and be happy about it. So, bombs here is good, and of course, as Lazarus, what we'll be looking for is the ability to get some HP. No tinted rock. Uh, the ability to get some HP... Or, um, a spirit heart, and then kill ourselves and come back with Lazarus Rags. And my brain right now is conflating Lazarus Rags with, uh, Judas Shadow. Not the same. Lazarus Rags gives you a damage bonus and, uh, fixes your luck stat. But it doesn't make you incredibly powerful. It's just, it's just helpful. That's not, though. Um, so... One of the things we'll be looking at is what we get from this boss. Is it HP? If so, we'll kill ourselves on this floor. Is it, uh, Squeezy? Or something else that has a chance to give us Spirit Arts? Well, then we'll kill ourselves and get, you know... It, obviously, at this point, it's a moot point, because we know that we're just going to get the ability to fly, but actually, the ability to fly is, is pretty dang good, I gotta say. We won't need to use keys to get any of those other consumables. Um, sure, this is fine by me. I figured we'll use a bomb or two to try to sneak our way through here. If we end up dying on this floor, it's probably not the end of the world. We'd rather not. Maybe, though. It depends if we can get a spirit heart from our, uh, from our shop. So that's the ability to fly. A really good space bar item if we don't have a space bar item. Which we don't. So let's get this, and we'll shoot all this. Maybe we'll be able to get to the five cents necessary to get a uh, spirit heart without having to blow up a bunch of stuff. I don't think we really gain much from the... Uh, tower card right now. We save the pill. Maybe this becomes that situation that people uh, always ask for where you kill yourself on the deal with the devil instead. Now we're probably not going to get to 20 cents here, but we can at least get enough. We might get to 12. Alright, we're probably not going to get to 12 cents here. But we're going to get to 9. We'll buy the spirit heart. Better, better to give ourselves the chance to kill ourselves on the deal with the devil. I think at least. As much as I would have loved Champion's Belt or Map there, um, I think the Spirit Heart works best for us long term. So now we can actually see our HP, not that it was a, an enormous concern. I actually quite like the Pony. I don't think that this pickup puts us at an innate disadvantage at all. I mean, we can always choose to get rid of it for a different spacebar item if we want, but it's, it's going to be tough to sell me on that. There's not many spacebar items I'd rather have. Uh, right now, at least. There's another Spirit Heart or something. Potentially from our shop. Still waiting on, uh, you know, those first tinted rocks to show up. Just clear some space for ourselves here. The, the sheer, like, get out of jail free cardness of this, that's not really a real word, but you get the idea. If you're, if you're learning English, you're speaking English as a second language, don't use that. <laughs> that's an advanced level term, which is my way of saying it doesn't make any freaking sense. Quad shot again. It's not like that's a, it's a grandiose way of talking, it's just ridiculous. People will hate you for using that. Um, it would be nice to get the steam sail, I suppose, and this is an easy way to get a shortcut to the boss fight. Uh, we don't need to blow up the Tinted Rock right now. This is like our third run in a row with, uh, Quad Shot, but prior to this we hadn't seen Quad Shot in like a hundred videos, so I don't feel too bad. Let's see what our boss holds for us. It's Dingle, 
don't get hit twice. I'm going to save the, uh, the passive ability for either a situation in which it looks like we're not going to get out of it without getting hit by Dingle's Charge. Or for maybe the Krampus fight after this, if we fight Krampus. But I really hope we don't. I would love precedent. I would love three deals that are expensive enough. Like two two hard deals and a one hard deal, if that's even possible. For us to kill ourselves and then come back with Lazarus Rags and some items. But this might be like the, the rare mythical no Lazarus Rags uh, set up here. We got no HP there. We cannot... We can't... No, we can't. This is a very interesting situation. I think we go no Lazarus Rags. I think we take this. And obviously this will give us an, an evil up. But we can't kill ourselves here and then respawn in the room. So and I do think we take this even though we have a, an active ability to fly. Then we take our pill. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, and now I'm a little scared. I didn't expect that to be bad trip. We have no bomb. Uh, let's do some more exploration here. More money. It's not its not a terrible situation. Because if we die, we do respawn as Lazarus with a little bit more damage. And two abilities to fly. Two abilities to fly doesn't necessarily mean anything. But it, it could make me look like a little bit of a goat. For taking Lord of the Pit in addition to our already active ability to fly. But I was like, you know, this allows us to replace our spacebar item with something better at a later time. And I, in my defense, I didn't really expect Bad Trip to be our uh, our payout there with the pill. I was like, we'll use it when we get down to low HP so that it'll give me something. Uh, if, if it's a health downgrade, it'll become a health upgrade. And then maybe I'll take Book of Sin and I can use that instead of, uh, instead of uh, the passive ability to fly or active ability to fly. Sorry, I'm getting a little confused here. Anyway, this is, this is all for not right now. Let's just focus on the situation at hand, which is basically like get bomb drops. We're going to be able to buy the steam sale. Getting a, an early steam sale it helps us out a lot with our purchasing power later. The real crux of this floor now, and it's outside of our hands, is the uh, the two tinted rocks. There's no bombs for sale. So if we can get a bomb drop, I'd feel so good. And what do you typically give? Either a pill, which scares me now, or... Well, if it's bombs with key, it'd be good. Or poison touch, which is a little bit more palatable, I suppose. We'll do a little bit more exploration up here. We found we found both secret rooms. One of them is just a bunch of red hearts, which is not particularly strong for me at this moment in time. All right, uh, if this doesn't drop a bomb, and which it didn't, I wouldn't say we're in a bad position, but it's a bit of a scary position. I think that kind of goes without saying. The fact that we can't access either of those, there's three tinted rocks actually. The fact that we can't access any of them is real, real nasty. We could theoretically buy the pill. I think we're going to try it. I was hoping for bombs or key, but... Alright, uh, I think we we made a mistake here. We probably should not have taken Lord of the Pit. And this keeps us on the back foot here. We've got to be thinking very defensively. I think it's worth it. Of course, now, those two bombs, uh, which would have been so valuable probably on the last floor, now might be meaningless. Or, they might be even more valuable. So let's not get too negative. I'm not I'm not even talking about this run as if it's a lost cause. I'm, I'm thinking about this run as if it's a winning cause, but we're not going to ball out of control right off the bat. And in many ways, um, it's quite dangerous to have a, a run like this after so many runs in which we've been relatively successful relatively early. Because I'm starting to, you know, get this defeatist mindset of like, oh, well, we are not nearly doing as well as we should be by this point in the game. But honestly, we're probably doing as well as we should be doing by this point in the game, you know? The early game should be a little bit more about fragility and trying to make sure that you can keep yourself uh, afloat here. And we got Quad Shot. We've got two abilities to fly. And honestly, with uh, Poison Touch, the Pony's ability is not worthless. Once every four rooms, we'll be able to, to poison a big enemy, maybe poison a boss, you know? It's, it's good. And we got really nice speed as a result of that as well. All we need to do is stack up damage. And we don't even need much to stack up damage. The moon card sort of doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll use it to maybe get out of a curse room. This is great. So what I'm thinking is that actually, because there's a spirit heart there, why don't we kill ourselves and then come back as with, with the damage bonus and then get the benefit out of it? It seems to make sense to me. 
But I'd, before we do it, because we are giving up kind of like a, a failsafe if we do that. So before we do it, I would like to, if possible... It's a little too risky. I'd rather just use my tears. Um, I'd like to, if possible, see if maybe our shop has another uh, spirit art for sale. But the risk that we're taking here is that we could just die on this room. And if we die on this room, you know, we're coming back with Lazarus Rags. If we get hit once more, we're, we're dead and the streak is dead. Let's rephrase that. If we get hit once after that, you know, we're as dead as the streak is. There, that had a little bit more gravitas to it. Yo, how are you not dead or at least substantially hurt? I'm going to stop picking up these batteries in unnecessary situations just in case we get, like, a Book of Revelations from our item room. Or a Satanic Bible from our boss room or something like that. Then we'd much rather have, uh... Have the batteries for that purpose. No, I, you don't understand. I still want you to be down here. Yeah, like right there. That's perfect. And then we're just going to very, very slowly whittle your HP down. Thank you for continuing to walk into the perfect position to help us get a pill. This one's bad gas, but we got information. And information is, is power, my friend. Information is power. Mysterious paper. Not going to go pick up the battery. But I do think it was worth using it on this room. Really, uh, really noticing the, the lack of damage when you don't get uh, an early Lazarus kill. We're still very much in this. Oh, if that were Spirit Hearts, we'd be sitting pretty right now. Lockdown is even worse. Balls of Steel would have been really nice to know what that was before taking it. However, how am I going to complain about it? We have a Balls of Steel pill in our rotation. If we get another one on this floor, then... You know, life's good. In fact, we might want to blow up mushrooms specifically with this express purpose in mind. We've been to our, we haven't been to our item room yet. We have steam sale, so consumables are cheap. Might be able to kill ourselves on a deal with the devil. Okay, there we go. So we got two of those now. And a spirit heart for sale. So we got three HP that we can... Why shoot the fucking fire? I was like idly shooting the fire. No, you don't understand. I want the fire. Let's fight the boss. My thinking here is we fight the boss. We kill the boss. Maybe we get a deal with the devil, or maybe we get HP. And both of those allow me to make a decision as to the future of this run. We have at least two spirit hearts plus the one we can purchase available. Which will allow us to have a decent amount of HP. Enough, enough to feel good about actually killing ourselves on this floor. I think. But it does come, it, it's a dangerous situation, but this is like, you know, Judas' Shadow Light. We've had a lot of practice with it recently. There's really no excuse for making the wrong decision here. So I, I want to take my time to weigh the options appropriately, you know. This is, this is why I like playing Lazarus, is this analytical decision. It's just slightly unfortunate that we have not been able to use it optimally here. But that's, you know, where the excitement comes from. I can't imagine this being not the best way to kill ourselves. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the razor blade. <laughs> we got mom's lipstick, so I wasn't relying on HP there, and I'm glad I wasn't. Uh, we got our bonus there. Get this. You know what? Why don't we even try to get one of these items? You never know if maybe there's a candle or something, and I would not feel bad about taking the candle at this point. There is no honor in making this run as hard on ourselves as possible. Please give me a little bit more than two cents. It's a little ridiculous, you know. I think bottom item. Piggy bank. Oh, well, bottom item allows us to buy the right item where we get hive mind. Not uh, not immediately useful, but could be great in the future. So, I think if you would put yourself in my situation, you probably would have done the same thing. Most people would have, I think. Um, if they hadn't killed themselves earlier in the run. Purposely, not like accidentally. So our damage is still going to be shit. I mean, that's the, that's the pivotal moment here. Thank you, Balls of Steel. Thank you. We still have not improved our damage enough to not have to worry about it. Uh, we've just improved it. And we're still going to be slow on the, the boss rush meta here for sure, but at least we do have a use for our moon card. And we do have a bomb. And we could really use these spirit arts. We don't know how long we're going to have to try to be as survivable as possible. What is this? What is this? Another Balls of Steel is amazing. A Tears upgrade is also really good. Okay! Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call this floor a huge win, but I think it is kind of a huge... Well, it's not over yet, actually. 
<laughs> we still have our item room. I would call it like a huge win um, strategically. I think we made the right strategic calls here, given the situation we were in. Oh, and the Cancer Trinket and Spider Butt. It's an interesting question. Does Spider Butt, with its two room charge, beat the pony's active effect when we already have the ability to fly? I think the answer is probably going to be yes, but it's not the decision that you like making because neither of them are super good. Uh, but we've improved ourselves pretty nicely. The Cancer Trinket helps out a ton with that, and we got a chance to to do some good here. Let's hopefully get another deal with the devil on this floor. The only thing that sucked uh, about the last floor was the razor blade pickup. Like that was the biggest problem. We got two balls of steel pills. Wasted one, but, uh, and when he took the razor blade out of the rotation, it was good enough. And I, I can't stress enough, this cancer trinket is probably uh, going to be the biggest factor from that floor. Even though we got the damage bonus, it's really going to be, you know, that cancer trinket that is, is going to give us a chance at surviving here in this 21st century lifestyle. X-ray goggles also helping out, but it's kind of surprising. We haven't had X-ray goggles actually give us a second secret room with an eternal heart in it yet. We haven't gotten any HP upgrades on this run to the best of my knowledge. Which is very, very surprising considering we've had three bosses and uh, three second secret rooms and of course all the item rooms that we've had thus far. Just, I'm not complaining, it's just a very, very big surprise for me that one of the most statistically likely items to show up has not showed up yet. We're gonna use Spider Butt uh, pretty indiscriminately here. You think the item is called Spider Butt because the other item is called Spider Bite and they kind of sound similar? Maybe there's a Genesis in there somewhere? I don't know if that's the behind the scenes story. I'm just, you know, I, I find myself kind of slurring the vowel sound and making it sound like it's the other one when it's not. I thought maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe that's how it came about. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be a cool origin story? Not really, but that's okay. Interesting. Se a curiosity somewhat. This is like the longest, not like in terms of time, but in terms of physical, like appendage size floor I've ever seen. Three long rooms all pointing in the same direction. And then at the end of it, a mega hub there with a, uh, a shop and an item room. Neither of which we're able to access right now, unfortunately, but in the future. In the year 3000, we'll have some keys and be able to get in there is my dream. Okay, plenty of spirit arts backing us up and they must have heard me complaining. There's an HP upgrade for us. This is the Gertie that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some people started fighting it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue fighting it forever just because it is the boss that never ends. Not quite as bad as Carrion Queen. Anyway. We'll just continue this. This is our rate of fire with cancer and two tiers upgrades. I am so thankful that we were actually able to get those as opposed to dealing with our previous rate of fire. It was so bad. Even th with this, you know, it's, it's not that good, but it's because of quad shot. All right, take our evil upgrade, a few extra bombs. Maybe we'll get a bombs or key pill, you never know. We definitely have one HP that we can afford to trade for pentagram, and damage is, uh, as, as usual, kind of the be-all, end-all, so this is something that I'm going to be very, very interested in moving forward here. It's a golden chest, which we cannot access in the mob trap room. Yeah. So now, like, our tears and damage are combining pretty nicely to, to put together a, a winnable run here. It wasn't without, you know, peril, though. Oh, I forgot that uh, spider butt wears off. <laughs> it wasn't without peril. We found ourselves in a very tricky situation. Two keys? <sighs> Bad trip. Well, we get our chance to get revenge for that. We found ourselves in a tricky situation. I don't want to talk as if this run is won, because it's not. But um, certainly, it looks a lot, lot better than it did, uh, you know, two floors ago. when I was like, how are we going to get out of this bucket of syrup? Run, yeah, caves too. So I wanted to save Spider Butt just in case we ended up fighting um, Greed. We have two keys, so it doesn't matter which one we go to first, really. We should be able to make something happen on either of them. We have no curse. Curse of the Unknown, right? Of course, I can't see my HP. BBF! BBF is fine. Give me a Balls of Steel pill as well. No, oh, nothing in the trade there. That's okay, though. And there's Greed. So I'm actually glad that we saved the Spider Butt play. 
And we just want money because we already have Steam Sale. And actually getting a key drop out of that is even nicer than the money. But the money's nice too. So let's blow up like all the mushrooms here. I don't think we have a great chance at Magic Mush. But uh, four bombs, even if we get nothing else. We'll, tr we'll trade the other two bombs over here. If we trade four bombs for just a tiers upgrade, that's fine by me, man. Oh, that's like a little shitty. <laughs> but at least we know that there's a bombs or key pill in the rotation. All right. Still, the tiers upgrade and knowing bombs or key is in there is good. BBF, it's okay. Could be great. And we have a Crystal Labyrinth. Um, we probably weren't going to get a deal with the Devil anyway, so it doesn't burn me too much here. We definitely are not... Shouldn't have stood there. We definitely are not going to be worrying about Boss Rush. Two keys, and we can gain access to our shop easily. Wow, that's uh, a bit of a disappointment, I gotta admit. But lots of money in case we get, like, money equals power. This is an ideal small rock opportunity, but hey, I'll, I'll take the two spirit hearts, even though half of it gets pushed out due to us being at the HP cap. Um, this is, it's still quite good. There's a lot of items I would potentially desire. I'm not gonna bullshit you about that. Balls of Steel. What's the other one we have? Bad Trip? Yeah, Balls of Steel a little bit better than Bad Trip, I'd say. Piggy Bank allowing us to get a lot of money out of that. Money equals power is a huge shortcut to success for us. I think we're on our way to our boss fight. It just has the feel of kind of being like, you know, we're on the road to the Elite Eight right now. I think the, every room that goes by, I, I get increasingly confident about my prediction here. Now, don't get caught in the explosion here. Totally fine. More keys, now no bombs. We gotta make up our mind. Every room that goes by, man, I'm telling you. I'm not gonna do boss rush. We're, we're first off, probably not gonna be in time. But I'm not gonna do boss rush anyway. I don't trust myself to do it properly. Uh, but I would like to fight the first boss while we're here because we can, you know, who knows what kind of goodness we'll pick up. That was not very smart. But we have so many spirit hearts that it, it doesn't burn me too bad. We have to use Spider Butt, but I want to use Spider Butt when he's actually, like, in a position that I, that I like. Like, I need him to be lower on the food chain here. Yeah, if he comes all the way down, then we Spider Butt. Then he doesn't jump immediately. Good, 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 good. This is our way out. Fantastic. Don't fight the boss. We got two item rooms left to go. The crate is fine, or the box. We don't want the trinket, but the card could be useful. Hematomesis doesn't do anything for us. I'm just going to pop two of clubs and hold on to balls of steel. Pretty disappointing uh, payout there. Might as well take this. We got a lot of uh, a lot of spirit arts waiting in line for their turn. Let's go find our item rooms, which I am very much hoping pay out in a, a positive way for us. We've gotten we've we've got a run right now, which is amazing at uh, at getting through the womb. Watch out for that. Yeah, I actually. I, I know we got hit twice on this room, but I really did not think the BBF had a hitbox that was that large. Just on in terms of like visual looking at the situation, I was like, that's gonna miss. I could have been wrong, or maybe it just has a larger hitbox than I previously uh, realized. But anyway, uh, we got a run that's great for dealing with uh, the devs. I think I might have said the womb, but uh, once we get down to the womb and double damage starts factoring in, you know, maybe we don't have a floor that's as lucky with spirit hearts as the one that we're having right now. Things can get a little tricky. Samson's Chains is good when you can fly and you're fast and you uh, don't have many bombs. And we pretty much fit the build completely there, so um, it's okay and nice on bullet hell bosses. Not an incredible item, but an item that's good enough to, to take for sure. Those are like real fires. I don't know why I thought those were fake fires for some reason. I was like, we can just walk into those. Yo, don't do that. Not a huge fan of what I've... The situation I've created for myself here. It's all good. We're done with it. Uh, still got one more item room left to go. And you never know, maybe a library or something along those lines. Pretty much dodged right into that, but got lucky enough to actually get out of the way at like the last available opportunity. And ex expect this to be a big floor. I mean, it's a Curse of the XL. Well, Curse of the Labyrinth, sp specifically on uh, Necropolis. So, it's probably not going to be super easy. Six bombs, huh? Well, no. No, that's not fair. It's not six bombs. Northern Lion. Don't misrepresent it. That was only five bombs. One of them was just pretty big. 
There's our second one. There's our third one. I think that's it. If I can get these guys killed before they can jump, it's the most important thing. Also, being able to actually dodge their shots as they land, which is aided by Spider Butt a little bit as well. Very strange run. Um, we are in a fairly comfortable position, and I would say that, by and large, our earlier position of being quite terrified has crystallized into a run that's actually pretty good, but we're still lacking a lot of the, um, like, really, really amazing payouts that we'd be... I guess hoping for. We're lacking high damage. Quad shot helps out, but we are uh, we're missing out a little bit. Not enough to say that you know if we don't get any more damage, we're gonna lose. But I would really like to not see what is wrong with me there. I would really like to not see um, a curse of the labyrinth on the next floor. If we can avoid that, I think you know the world's pretty much our oyster. Assuming we, you know, then have a realistic chance at a deal with the devil. But, it's a, you know, there's a lot of ifs involved in that. But I don't necessarily see this one going south. Two of spades will pop right now. No guppy items either, but I guess I can't really complain too much. We do already have the ability to fly, but we also have hive mind. If you would like to give me guppy items, please uh, call this number within the next, you know, 14 minutes. Somewhere in there. I'm going to use the hero font card now, just because we can't take hero font and balls of steel down to the next floor. Which one's better? It doesn't matter. It really makes very little difference. And uh, you might be asking yourself, why am I even doing these rooms? Well, you know, it's the, the soul of the human condition. Hope. I think I got a chance to maybe get some kind of special room up here. I don't know if it's a... We've already been to a cursed room, I think. I can't remember. There's some, there's some potentially special room available. Now, there's our cursed room right there. And just something calls to me. You know, we've already missed Boss Rush. Why do we care about taking a little longer than normal to, to finish this run? Well, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> you think that's our last terminal? It's... it is. Yeah, we'll come down this way just to... Just to fight one more room. Honestly, I think it's probably better to use Spider Butt on this room than it is to use it against Mom. We're not gonna get too much out of the Spider Butt on the Mom fight. And let's just uh, leave, I guess, at this point. We might as well pick up the black card from the second secret room. As we might as well pick up this as well. And might as well crack these, you never know. Well, you might get out of them. I was hoping maybe for Dry Baby, but that's okay. How do we manage to go through that without cracking this? Hey. At this point, you know, we know we're going to be at the HP cap. So it's just nice to be able to, to have as many black cards out of it as possible. Where's my Dry Baby payout? Strength card uh, basically just costs us a Spirit Heart. At this point, we might as well crack this one as well. This one's Judgment. Hmm, interesting. Well, we can afford to give you some of our non-Red Hearts here. Because, of course, we're just going to go pick up this. And we could... Yeah, I'm going to go for it a little bit. I'm not necessarily happy with it, but, you know, we got to pay out with it. And we live and learn, you know. We learned something about... Demon Judgment, we know he will not pay out with uh, that item anymore. So we're not actually going to be at full health, but we're going to be very, very close. I don't know if I can get the... Oh, I can get it down there fairly easily, actually. Alright, let's do this. Weird entrance, but that's okay. Alright, we managed to get ourselves out of the way just in time. We're watching directly below us to see when Shadow shows up. We're listening. There we go. Over halfway through the fight already. I don't know how I didn't get hit by the fly there, but that's good. Should have let BBF take the hit. We're done. No deal with the devil. I don't know why I thought about that for too long. Anyway, down to the next floor. We got a good run that is unusual. And it's Womb 1, not uh, Womb XL. So I think that's a, an extreme positive for us. Another situation where we should have just let... Uh, BBF take out whatever enemy it wanted to take out. That was pretty underachieving there. But we got it done. And we don't need anything there. Alright, so what's our goal here? I mean, we, we've we lost... We never really had a lot of control over this run anyway. You know, without a D6, we're pretty much just beholden to whatever the game gives us. And we're still in that position. But what we would like to see here is um, a deal with the devil with any damage item. I'm not going to be super picky. If you want to give me, uh, you know, Dark Matter, I'll take Dark Matter. If you want to give me, you know, Brimstone, I'll be very happy to take Brimstone. I'll be, I will sing your praises. 
You want to give me give me mom's knife? I'll erect a statue in your honor in my pants. But either way, we have uh, one singular goal. Pretty much entirely just consists of getting a deal with the devil. After that happens or does not happen, we'll start to talk about you know what else we're looking for on this run. But that is my my premier focus right now. Pretty easy way to finish that guy off. Uh, one spirit heart to go to the curse room I think is a no-brainer. And if we can get into the curse room for free, it's even better. But I think it's going to be a little unlikely. Tears up. Yeah, every single one of these helps us out a ton. Obviously, we're not going to be able to bomb our way into the secret room. Or, cur well, into the secret room, then into the curse room. We can still bomb our way into the secret room. That's, you know, a principal part of every good strategy. Another red heart. Dark Bum would also be a great pickup, which would pretty much uh, win us the game. If we don't have it already. Don't have to win, that is. Obviously, we don't have Dark Bum. But uh, damage, I, I consider a little bit more integral if we can if we can get it. Make this easier. Oh, please work with me. <laughs> we'll take that spirit art, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. And we'll, we'll hold on to this Balls of Steel pill as long as we possibly can. It's really helping out, actually. It's giving me a nice little peace of mind knowing that no matter what... You know, we still have two Spirit Hearts waiting here in case things go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, let's just walk you into this. Yeah. It'd be really interesting if Judas's Shadow showed up on the, uh, on the boss room. I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd take it and then just, if we respawned, I'd have this Balls of Steel pill to pop. But I wouldn't deliberately kill myself to use it. I think that's just asking for trouble here. Unless we went back and played that, uh... Played that fortune teller and managed to get like a shit ton of uh, spirit hearts out of it. But for now, we're fine. Jump low and then that's gonna hurt. Yeah, no way we're getting out of that one. How did Spider Butt only keep you slow for like a second there? Something about this seems like bullshit, but that's okay. Here's our deal. We got a speed upgrade, not what I'm looking for. Followed by a Krampus fight. If we get, no matter what we get, we're happy. Not as happy as I could be, but lump of coal would be huge. Krampus's head will be fine. Ah, I was really hoping for a lump of coal on that one. Oh well. This is, I mean, look at the speed. The speed is absurd. Blow this up. Try to get a spirit heart, maybe. Red heart. That's fine. Okay. Uh, it's still good. But now we have to wait until the chest to conceivably get something that is going to guarantee us the win. That's okay. Just a little bit more excitement, you know? A little less conversation, a little more action. I don't have a, a response to what I said there. Um, that's the Elvis song they use in the soccer promos all the time. Krampus's head is going to be our go-to, like, boss room payout. Or, like, uh, not payout, but you know what I mean. It's our go-to boss room strategy. And it is going to be helpful. Usually takes off, like, a third of Isaac's HP. Nothing to sneeze at, at least. I don't know if it's worth fighting the bosses in there. Potentially losing some spirit hearts that could be valuable for us. There is a tinted rock here. There we go. That's really valuable. Small rock is uh, you know, one of the few damage upgrades we've gotten on this run. Not that I'm super complaining, but a little bit of complaining, I think, is, is in order here. But thank you to uh, Quan Shot and the very convenient death of Lazarus for headlining at the Rio last night, but also for giving me a good opportunity to pull out of our relatively damageless tailspin. We did... Hit a tinted rock in our bedlam there. Don't drop red hearts, because it just reminds me how good Dark Bum could have been for us. Bad gas, pheromones, balls of steel still, like, without a doubt, the number one choice here. Maybe a second secret room? This is a second secret room for an item we can't use, but it... Oh, wait a minute. I'm very confused now. <laughs> Are we going backwards, or is the boss room over here? Yo, don't take dumb damage like this. Got a lot of battery charges. Well, if the boss room is right here, we might as well use one battery charge. Try this on for size. Takes out about half of Mom's HP. I can't believe I didn't dodge through that effectively. It's alright, we still have Balls of Steel. I don't know what I'm waiting for with it. I guess I'm waiting for something better to possibly take its place so I have a better reason to use it. Um, we'll go back... Pick up this, and apart from the complete collapse towards the end of that floor, that was that was looking pretty good. 
We got enough keys to make our chest worthwhile. This is extremely important. Just don't throw on the cathedral and you have such a good chance of success. Like for real though. There's no, there's, there's every reason you can win this run is I guess the pep talk I'm trying to give myself. And pretty much no reason to lose it. Outside of just inconsistency and a little bit of uh, stupidity or ill-advised brazenness. If you can just stay away here. I don't know why every time I say brazen, I think that it's like a DQ, like Dairy Queen, raisin-based dessert. I had to try. I think we just go for it. You know, we're already almost done here. Um, the Stars card doesn't do much for us. Can we fight two Monstros now? Yeah, this, the Stars card doesn't do much, if, if anything, really for us, but we were already basically done with it, so I was like, I don't want to use the Stars card to teleport away and then possibly have to come back in here anyway. I might as well get the, the silver chest, or sorry, the regular chest, and then figure it out. This is okay. I was hoping for Cricket's head, of course, but, you know, you can't always get what you want. Our biggest enemy on this room, because we have the maneuverability necessary to get away, is, is definitely uh, BBF. If we can avoid torching ourselves with BBF... We should be completely fine. And you know what? On the Cathedral, you can usually rely on a good uh, spirit heart or two, mathematically speaking. Hopefully we go to the right rooms. Manage to make that happen. I don't think uh, homing tears is really worth taking. I think we get a, a morale boost from holding on to Balls of Steel. I think the longer we hold on to Balls of Steel, you know, the more we benefit from this morale boost. What kind of morale boost? Well, you know, I always know that I've got a few spirit hearts just in case things look dire. I can always pick up my HP. I guess the logical thing is that we should probably use the Magician on like one room, but it's unlikely to make a huge difference. But that doesn't mean it's not a good decision. Still a little bit on edge here, just a, just a little bit though. We've definitely had sketchier runs that have turned out successful in you know recent history. Like many of the runs that I recorded yesterday were so scary. Today's have been pretty good. Thank you for the spirit heart. I like to, well, I've been recording, like, binges of, of Rebirth right now because, you know, if, if I'm playing hot, I don't want to stop. And I also don't want to leave myself on a random run because then that's just bad mojo, you know. I'm not superstitious, but you don't want to come in the next day, you know, uncaffeinated and, and try to do a lost run to keep your streak alive. That just, you're asking for trouble in that situation, I think. Double key room. You know, I, I think I have... Dumb. I think I have earned the right to not reroll. Let me put it this way. I've earned the right to choose whether or not I reroll. And I, I almost think that the devil I know is better than the devil I don't here in this situation. Uh, you know, we got lucky, I guess, because a five room basically makes no sense for us to do here. At least in my opinion. Like, we could get more consumables, like more spirit arts, but we might also just lose more. It's not good enough. Not much is going to be good enough uh, to beat the Cancer Trinket. In fact, I don't know if there's anything. I'd, Curve Torn, I would probably take. Because our tiers are good, getting a bit of a damage. It's all about what gives you better DPS. I think probably Curve Torn would give us better DPS, but I don't know. Should have popped Krampus' head right off the get-go, because then we wouldn't have had to... Oh, shit. Then we wouldn't have had to... Uh, dodge out of the way a little bit in the middle there. This is still fine, though. This is still fine. Nope, no panicking. Panicking is the, the death sentence of every Isaac run. I will say, I wish our HP had stayed as good as it was when we came down to the cathedral. We threw on the cathedral a little bit. We don't need good items to beat the chest. Let's get out of that mindset. All we need to beat the chest is good play. Or an Emperor card. <laughs> But, if we can't rely on an Emperor card, then good play. We've been in this situation before. I don't like being on one row of HP, even less a little bit, when we are uh, this late in the game. But, you know, it's this is, this is what separates the easy runs from the tough ones. This is not supposed to be tough right now, but we've made it a little tough. No curse, that's good. Not good. Interesting. Uh, Bloody Lust... Actually, a pretty huge help. It, it's it's very interesting. Um, I want Krampus's head charged, 
But I'm going to use On Defined, and this is actually pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. So we have lost Krampus' head, but we're going to get HP, and uh, I think if we buy Necronomicon, at least it can't come back. And then if we can get like a couple of chests worth of items, then this is, it's even better for us. This was actually a good strategic play. And we got no curse again, which is beautiful, and that's good, and that's amazing, and that's bad. And that's pretty good. <laughs> we might as well take Bum Friend. Will we use Undefined whenever it's available? I, I can't say, really. It's going to depend on, you know, how close I feel we are to the boss room, how good I feel our run is. Oh my god, I think we just did it. Thank you! You know what? Don't thank me on this run. Thank Undefined. Like, this is not... Way to go, Northern Lion. You use Undefined. This is more like Undefined. Thank you for not only showing up, but for paying out right away. I appreciate it a great deal. You've, you've possibly saved what could have been a lost run. And it's not a win yet, but it could be. I'm going to cash out of this run as soon as we have the opportunity to, to guarantee ourselves a win, basically. I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't want to keep re-rolling and possibly get like a Curse of the Blind floor and pick up a, an item that completely ruins and squanders the, the greatness that we've gotten so far. But I can't deny that we have um, a really, really good run right now. And we have more keys, so we could possibly make it even better. And it doesn't really seem like we were... Uh, or that we are particularly close to our boss fight, you know? It seems like we're probably just as far away as we've ever been basically we went completely in the wrong direction to start with what is up with your face right now you got a you got a weird hue going on you might want to get that checked out easy room let's try undefined lovely yeah we'll take this for a small damage downgrade with a large uh dps upgrade due to the tears and then we'll head up to the same floor and hope that it's just not a curse Curse of the Maze is not so bad. Now we get Mom's Pad. Uh, bombs, Black Bean, and Cards. Now this is not particularly strong. Uh, that's like a... Something... Bad Luck Down, Tears Down something pill. It's not a good one. Bad Gas, even. I think we'll keep the Two of Hearts card with us, just in case it ends up you know, proving to be meaningful. Still a, a good situation. The Skinny Odd Mushroom pickup was well worth this. I'm not taking the bombs. We'll do one more cycle of on the find if we if we find it convenient to do so. Attack fly is fine, uh, and then I think we're uh, set to go, set set to leave. So happy we got Holy Mantle after you know basically completely capitulating on the uh, on the cathedral. It feels good. We got Lord of the Flies now too. That's I mean doesn't help us that much. We were already able to fly, but now we'll. Get some neutral flies that are on our side occasionally. Oh, this is a, a little bit of a sigh of relief. You know, can't say anything for 50 necessarily yet, but it looks like we're probably going to get 49. I don't want to jinx it, but I don't believe in the jinx, so... I'm okay with this. And we got a second secret room here, which indicates to me that we might be close to our boss fight. But, you know, with three keys, I think we could justify one more reroll. Both of these guys are dead, just gurglings left. And... Hey! That's way more items you'd be expecting at this point. What about our pills? Full health. Pheromones. Balls of steel. So huge. Hematomesis. Not really meaningful. Uh, two of hearts? No. Full health. Full health makes way more sense. We can get the invincibility and still get a bonus out of it. Uh, and then use full health and still get the full health. You think it's a uh, coincidence that full health sounds like Valhalla? No way, man. I mean, I'm not saying it's a striking resemblance. No error room this time. All right, uh, we're on the boss fight. I'm assuming we get inside the room at least. I'm so happy. I don't... I'm so happy right now. You can't even tell. You don't even know. 49 wins. That's a lot for me. <laughs> Look. Brain's a little fried, playing a lot of Isaac today. But mostly I'm just, well, first off, you know, 49 is not 50. It's not the, uh, it's not the milestone that I've been hoping for, which is 100. However, it's good. Thank you guys for joining me on the street thus far. We'll be back. Good time for an awesome stream. We'll be back uh, on the next run for 50 with Eden. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.